in our last interview, you talked about NBA Young Boy and how you guys were supposed to kind of hop on the phone and have a conversation. You know, did anything ever happen from that? No, it didn't. I ain't reached back out to him for a little minute. He never blocked me, like I said. And so if he never blocked, I'm quick to block somebody. You reach out to me, you ain't talking about what I'm talking about, I'm blocking you. So I felt as though because he never blocked me, it was an opportunity that we could have gotten on the phone, but I just started reaching out to him because I, I know I just pray for him. Because I know he got a lot underway. He, he in the realm right now where once you get in it, man, it's hard to get out, especially if you don't really know the light, the real strength, the real almighty. Man, what can you do? What did you think about the picture of him you know, on the ground, you know, with pills and, you know what I'm saying, look what looked like a lean cup, and he looks like he's, like, passed out? I think that it's exactly what we continuously said here today. His soul is sold. And so they got him putting on display his brokenness. And so it sucks, but we can see him deteriorating right in front of our eyes. You feel me? Because God said, again, going back to that other verse where it says that they're trying to destroy our hearts, he said, if our hearts are destroyed, what could you do? If the foundation of who you are is destroyed, you could do absolutely nothing. And his foundation is destroyed. Well, him, and so what you see is him broke. We run the drugs as a coping mechanism. We run the women as a coping mechanism. We run the money as a coping mechanism because we don't understand what's going on in us. And so we as every, everybody else does, we run to what people show the remedy is. Not what they say. People say that remedy is in God. But the world show that the remedy is in worldly substances. And so that's what we run to. Because that's what we see that everybody else promotes as though it's peace. And so we try to chase after these things as though it brings peace. But it just steals peace. Drugs, all of those. And so when the person is putting that on display, they just showing you how what they don't have inwardly, and so they make it up with that by the worldly things that's taking a piece from them, but you don't know that it takes peace until God comes into your life and, and, and tells you the things that you were doing wasn't taking, wasn't bringing you peace. It was the, That was what was taking your peace. All right. Well, man, Jay Hood, another dope interview. Man, love, bro. It's a pleasure to be able to, you know, share testimony, you know, be able to spread a little light amongst darkness, because just hoping, not just them, but you, Cam. Not just you, but the, the cameraman, my brother here, too. All of us, man, you know, it's deeper than what we see, right? It's deeper than what we see, man, and I'm just I'm just pleading my heart out, man, that y'all will see, like, man, all of us. Because whether you a gang member or whether you a, a whore, whoremonger, no man is good. No man. No man. So just because you might haven't done what I've done or what King Von done, don't, don't make you wrong in God's eyes. You don't reference God. That's, that's bad enough. You reference your father. Mm -hmm. We reference our fathers. And they said we show reverence and respect to our fathers, who is the father of our carnal body. And God said, I'm the father of your eternal you. He said, but y'all show me no reverence. Y'all worship y'all carnal dads as you should. You're supposed to respect them. God wants you to. But still, let's show him love for the light, man. He woke you up again today. He woke you up. You don't, many people don't know if hell or heaven real, but when you die, you will know. And so you're going to think about all of the many times that you had an opportunity to get it right, and that's going to be your hell. Hell going to be a state of mind, but it's going to get worse because hell going to be thrown into fire and brimstone. All right. Well, Jay Hood. Man, I appreciate you. Appreciate your takes. You know what I'm saying? Dope interview. Man, I love, bro. And, uh, you know, I look forward to what you got coming up. Man, love, bro. Stay, stay, stay in prayer. Stay prayerful. Don't stay careful. Stay prayerful, because we can't do nothing about what we care about, Cam. For real. Think right now. I could sit in here and think, I need a millions of dollars, but it ain't going to change my situation. I ain't got no million dollars. I'll still be broke, Jamal, but I'm rich in spirit. So, but I love you, bro, genuine. Major love, bro. For real. All right. I love you too, dog. Appreciate you. Man, for real. Love, bro. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in 
to Cam Capone News.